Render just ripped, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, new all-time high. And guess who was talking about render in this video right there when we were buying at $1.50, $1.40. It was me, obviously. Actually, now when I think about it, like we made a lot of good calls. I mean, if you were following us, you probably made money. Okay, man. How's your portfolio doing? Mine is doing crazy, man. I took it up from gamers then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, my mine is also doing good. And obviously guys, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a project that can make you so much money in this bull run that you're just gonna go in front of your boss, start swinging your dick. Maybe that sounds actually bad, but you know what I mean? You just can quit your job and start living like a normal crypto bro or crypto sis. All right, but seriously, there's like a really strong narrative that is being picked up again. And this is not only in crypto, but basically in the whole world. And of course, I'm talking about AI. Duh. But here specifically, I'm talking about energy that is required to power this AI. Because as you know, we have, unless you were living under the rock, we have kind of like energy crisis right now in the world. We have food, um, water electricity shortage so and you probably saw like a lot of headlines like power of ai wild predictions of power demand from ai puts industry on edge soaring demand for ai could see the technology consume enough energy to power a small country ai's massive energy demand risk causing major environmental headaches spider-man a superhero or super zero Oh shit, wrong video. So guys, but quickly to explain this to you. Traditional computing is seems not to be enough anymore because all those big ass server rooms like Amazon, Google is building, they require a lot of hardware, which is hard to produce right now. They require also a lot of water for the coolage of all the entire system. And of course, a lot of electricity. So apparently the cloud computing is the answer here. And to, just to make it simple, instead of building a giant ass server that is just powering this AI, like a lot of people can chip in and borrow their CPU from their personal devices and basically have the same effect. Actually better because it's way more scalable and it doesn't require as much resources. So it's way more cost efficient. So if someone wants to start a AI business and wants to train a model, it's way easier for him to rent a service that is just like borrowing the CPU, CPU from cloud instead of investing a lot of money into building this server himself. So guys, and I'm sure you've seen Sora, like text to video uh, generator. If not, then just look at this. This is a new OpenAI product. This is AI generated guys. There's no going back from this. This is the future. And this is just the beginning. Like this, they look like, dude, like if you, if you pause, like, and this is the era of content creators. I think we're going to have so much, this taps into so much potential uh, for creators. Just go check it out yourself because it's, it's just crazy guys. And obviously if I know humanity, we're going to get hooked up on this harder than the sex addict is hooked up on private invite only rave gangbang sex cocaine bukake parties don't ask me how i know but guys obviously this requires a lot of power we are not talking about the party anymore okay so now I guess you know why render is pumping and why it's going to keep pumping because this narrative is undeniable. It's going to only increase with numbers, numbers of users that want to use this technology, numbers of 
companies that they want to try to train their own models to do this. And services that allows cloud computing is just going to be like crazy valuable. So Drow, you want me to buy render? No guys, I, I think that this ship has sailed for now. You have to wait for a tracement, obviously not a financial advice, but I have something better that provides similar services. It's in addition to similar services that render provides, it also provides different services and it's way, 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 way more undervalued in terms of market cap. And I'm talking obviously about GameSwift. So GameSwift is a gaming platform that is also very fast, scalable. It provides, it's cross-chain, like it has so much utilities. I made a video on them here. You can check this link in the description. And in this video, I want to focus on this specific narrative uh, regarding AI, because GameSwift has one of the features that is going to be super, super profitable. It's going to crush. And I'm talking about gs force ai and guys they actually um released really cool tweets that they have in it like a presentation of this feature here we go we live in a world where power reigns supreme and technology holds the key to the future sum it up exactly there are over 1.8 billion gaming computers worldwide these machines, armed with advanced graphics cards and formidable GPU, generate unparalleled computing power. Tech giants invest billions in this market, accumulate this power, and increase the efficiency of its use. A revolution is upon us, and the GS4 AI launcher marks its beginning. Over 100,000 active platform users, 50,000 teraflops confirmed by our community, nearly $2 million worth of gamers hardware, incredible partnerships to be announced. That's the start of something much bigger. Immersive multiplayer experiences, decentralized marketplaces, AI training, machine learning networks. The potential is limitless. Countless protocols hunger for computing power. And the gateway? G-Swift and GameSwift modular blockchain. G-Swift is poised to become a bridge between gaming and AI. Gamers, join the revolution. Download the app and use your computing power to gain rewards. Boom, beautiful. Beautiful music, <laughs> so inspirational. No, they, they, they crushed it with this one. Okay, and I'm actually gonna show you quickly, guys, how to start with it because this feature is already working they're right now collecting all the data to bring this feature up and seeing how quickly they work it's going to be rather sooner than later and guys so you go to the website basically go products you you can click launcher you will be downloading the launcher after logging in to the platform well i'm already logged in so what you're going to get download for windows or mac right now and you're going to get something like that it's super simple this is basically your your launcher you can launch the games like steam or, or like epic have similar launchers this is just game suit launcher you have home where there's like updates and games and so on games and gs force ai tab this is what is interesting for us and you basically say okay this is your this this will read your pc and as you can see, this this is mine. It's probably like all this f right now, but here you can just set up your paramet parameters. Here you just have to like click like, do you want to run while in the game? Start with the system, etc., and send. And based on that, they will just collect all the info. And once the product is released, you're gonna get more specifics. And this is what I love about it: eighty-five percent of the revenue goes to the user, and fifteen percent goes to the ecosystem. So if you're a staker, you're gonna benefit from the user. And the user is not ripped off, but because 85% of this is getting to him. I love it. So if you're a staker also, you can see that all the time, there's just another thing that will collect revenue for the ecosystem. And if you're a staker, you participate in DAO, you obviously can vote how to distribute this and like really gives the power to the community and to the users of the platform. So 
it's just beautiful. It's also a lot of things that I hear, a lot of opinions that I that we hear in Web3 space that most of the users in Web3 space are not really gamers. Then I guess if you're not a gamer, it's still cool to use this feature because, well, A, it allows you to earn. It's like undeniable feature. If you're not playing, okay, you can still make money while you're not playing. If you're not a gamer, fine. If you just pretended to earn some airdrop, yeah, well, that, that's cool, man. But then you're standing in front of the opportunity, like, do you want to make money by selling your GPU or not? Like, most of the people will. Probably, I will. If you have some gaming rig and you're not using it all the time, well, maybe you should also consider this. And at the end, just to back it with TA, guys, this is the price of GameSwift right now. Market is kind of like, woo, shaky. So we're going down on basically every token. But here we had a breakout, boom, we exploded. That was like pre testing previous all-time high. And here is another all-time high. We have just this little small resistance here. I think this is a good buy zone. If we tank a little bit lower, this might be a good entry. Of course, not a financial advice. This is something that I I would consider. And we break through this bad boy and we break through this resistance and all-time high guys and price discovery same what happened with render if you see what's going on with render right now we are in the zone that we don't know where it's gonna go because we already crossed the previous all-time high and now we're in the price discovery mode and this narrative is picking up and it's going to be stronger and this is a real use case for crypto it's not like mambo jumbo i have like cardano platform that nobody knows how to use and shit like that something is building there no like people will need cpu ai will need cpu and those types of products offer solution for this boom there's nothing you need to know more literally like this is like the simplest the simplest solution to make money like if your conviction after watching this is not high enough then i cannot help you then you're beyond help then you have to go and buy bitcoin i guess which is not bad right guys uh, that is it for this video like subscribe if you found the content useful uh, of course uh, share it with your friends uh, helps me grow and guys what i love about this feature is that game swift is so ahead of competition because we are ai is going to power all the metaverse all our applications everything at some point ai will probably figure out how to reduce this cost in the future but as more developers want to use ai it requires more and more computing power and guys we are super early on this and this feature will work in a bear market and in a bull market as well so if this didn't convince you i don't know what will boom drop the mic latest